the CIA, best known for torture, assassinations, drug trafficking, mind control, various human rights violations, and editing their own Wikipedia articles to make themselves look better. I just found that one out today. <laughs> Sad, but it's a new era, and the CIA wants to turn over a new leaf, a more modern, progressive leaf. That's right, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that ad. If you don't know what I'm talking about, run, go, turn this off, leave now while you can. <laughs> Stay innocent. Yay! The hair is blonde today. If you don't like it, I was gonna, I was about to say I don't care, but I do care. <laughs> I woke up the other day to hundreds and hundreds of tweets, emails, messages, telling me about this new woke CIA ad. And I watched it, and it was bad. Not only do they have one ad, they have an entire YouTube channel. That's right, the CIA has a YouTube channel. Better yet, it is monetized. The f***ing CIA can monetize their channel, but God forbid any of us talk about politics. So we are going to watch some of the CIA's propaganda together. So I want you to experience this first one the same way I experienced it. I'm just gonna let it play out. <laughs> You're just gonna watch. I'm gonna tape your eyes open. Sit down. When I was 17, I quoted Zora Neale Hurston's How It Feels to Be Colored Me in my college application essay. At 17, I had no idea what life would bring, but Zora's sentiment articulated so beautifully how I felt as a daughter of immigrants then and now. I can wax eloquent on complex legal issues in English while also belting Guayaquil de mis amores in Spanish. I can change a diaper with one hand and console a crying toddler with the other. I am a woman of color. I am a mom. I am a cisgender millennial who's been diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder. I am intersectional, but my existence is not a box checking exercise. I am educated, qualified, and competent. And sometimes I struggle. I struggle feeling like I could do more, be more to my two sons, and I struggle leaving the office when I feel there's so much more to do. I used to struggle with imposter syndrome, but at 36, I refuse to internalize misguided patriarchal ideas of what a woman can or should be. I am tired of feeling like I'm supposed to apologize for the space I occupy rather than intoxicate people with my effort, my brilliance. I am proud of me. Full stop. My parents left everything they knew and loved to expose me to opportunities they never had. Because of them, I stand here today a proud first-generation Latina and officer at CIA. <sighs> this is literally the more female drone pilots joke. This is the meme. This is the sacred meme. This is the epitome of everything I've made fun of for the past five years. Satire is dead. God is dead. So let's go through this, shall we? Let's go through this point by painful point. I am a woman of color. I am a mom. I am a cisgender millennial. Pause. Cisgender. Why did they throw cisgender in there? Are most people working at the CIA trans? It really does feel like they're just like throwing in buzzwords that they've just like heard people say before. Like they've heard in left-wing spaces, just spewing it all out there like, Yeah, you like that girl boss gatekeep sh yeah! ...who's been diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder. I'm a cisgender millennial with anxiety disorder. She's just like me! I have anxiety, I have depression, I have ADHD, I'm bisexual, I'm Italian. That counts as a disability, right? Just the person we were looking for to overthrow a democratically elected leader in a foreign country. You got moxie, kid! The CIA has probably given, like, <laughs> hundreds of people anxiety and PTSD, but sure. I refuse to internalize misguided patriarchal ideas of what a woman can or should be. That's right, the patriarchy cannot hold you back. The patriarchy did not hold back Gina Haspel, who was head of the CIA from 2018 to 2021. The same Gina Haspel who was the head of a torture prison in Thailand. The same girl boss Gina Haspel who destroyed 92 interrogation tapes. Yes, queen. I can change a diaper with one hand. And waterboard an Iraqi with the other. 
I am unapologetic. <laughs> you better be apologetic. I have friends who are from countries your organization has disappeared people from. Okay, so that one was bad, but it's not even the only one. There are others. Blacks in government is open to any agency officer who wants to be a part of uh, what we call big. Blacks in government. Not even black people, not African Americans, not people of color. Blacks. <laughs> Every time people say like blacks or whites, it just sounds like old school race. Like it, it reminds me of my grandma, the Orientals. The African American presence here at CIA is deep and rich. And I would encourage anyone and everyone to know something about that history. Such as introducing the black community to crack cocaine in the 80s? Anyway. I wanted to be a librarian the first time I set foot in a library. I was always a little different, even at that age, and libraries offered a safe, quiet space where I could find tens of thousands of escapes into worlds of fantasy, mystery, and intrigue. After finishing college, I entered the workforce as a middle school librarian. Oh my god, I don't care! My favorite thing about CIA is that they encourage the out-of-the-box ideas that drive real progress. Look, they literally have a game on the table called Spy Tricks. These people are ill. Growing up gay in a small southern town... <gasps> oh my god, he's gay. They're doing it again! They're doing it again! Why are they doing this? Why are you doing this? Imagine my surprise when I was taking my oath at CIA and I noticed a rainbow on then-director Brennan's lanyard. Oh my god, this is literally... This is literally the rainbow anti-homeless bench as a video. Officers from the top down work hard to ensure that every single person, whatever their gender, gender identity, race, disability, or sexual orientation can bring their entire self to work every day. Wow, good for you guys. Have fun assassinating people. Gaily. <laughs> the comments are turned off. The comments are turned off. The CIA can literally overthrow countries, but can't handle some YouTube comments. Cowards. Pussies. I don't have the typical answer on why I joined CIA. Admittedly, it wasn't a childhood dream of mine, nor does my college degree align with security. Don't care, didn't ask. Plus, you're a fed. We've had several principals that were women, some of whom have asked why there aren't any more women on the director's protective staff. I've been able to inspire not only women to pursue DPS, but also people who wouldn't normally consider themselves qualified to be a special agent. This is the final stage of girl boss feminism. <laughs> Late stage feminism. I would rather just get assassinated right now. Just take me out right now. Call me Fidel Castro. Take me the fuck out. And don't miss this time. Look at her, look at her. She's like, target in sight. <laughs> Shut it down. I joined CIA almost straight out of college when it can be a challenge to speak up when you're younger and adjusting to workplace norms, especially in such a unique environment. Then adding to that are the social challenges both women and people of color face. What is critical and what gives me optimism that we are moving in the right direction is that there are people here who recognize that and are holding CIA as an institution accountable for the diversity and inclusion that it champions. That is what the CIA should be held accountable for. Diversity and inclusion. Not Iran, not Iraq, not Libya. God is testing me. We're so used to like corporations pandering like this. So it's just funny to see like the feds do it. <laughs> Embarrassing, frankly. I'm just waiting for the other alphabet institutions to follow. Like, I can't wait for the ATF's woke recruitment ad. The patriarchy can't stop me from setting children on fire. I was absolutely assigned an NSA agent after I went to the January 6th rally. I honestly just feel bad for whatever guy got that job. Or girl. Or I don't know, is the NSA as diverse as the CIA? Well, to the girl boss watching me through my webcam. Solidarity, sister. <laughs> this reminds me of when the US military was on Twitch trying to recruit people. This is like, this is like borderline predatory. Hello, fellow kids. This is the CIA trying to slap on like a happy face mask. This is a PR move. This isn't even, like I don't, like, I don't even think this is a recruitment video. This is just a PR move. This is a sad attempt to revamp their image. They even redid the logo. Like, look, look at this. What is this? A Joy Division album? This is them just being like, oh, shit, everyone knows we killed JFK. Uh, uh, uh. I'm gay! F off. 
And there are people online, like, deadass defending this, like, oh, you're just laughing at a brown woman being proud of her accomplishments. Like, yeah, Karen. Yeah, sure, that's what we're laughing at. We're not laughing at the intersectional death squads. But this fake woke shit is more disturbing than just, haha, they said, you know, the SJW words, lol, cringe. There's something a little more insidious about this. This isn't progress. I guess you could call it progress in like a vapid way. Like we got our first female vice president and she f***ing sucks. Caitlyn Jenner might be the governor of California soon and she f***ing sucks. You see the way MSNBC like brags about how the military industrial complex is run by women. You see the UN women's account on Twitter calling for more female CEOs. You see people in power being like, where are all the female billionaires? When the real focus should probably be the fact that the second highest paid CEO in the country runs a health insurance company. They want that boot on your neck to be an eight inch heel. That's it. People in power will put on this veneer of progress. They'll dangle keys in your face of like diversity or whatever, like, oh, look at this, look at this. Meanwhile, over there, nothing's changing. Nothing systemic is changing. Nothing economic is changing. It's all staying the same. It's like that one quote from Malcolm X about the white man giving us symbolic victories and no actual justice. Like I've said a million times before, identity politics will almost always be used as a weapon to defend the elite. Remember that. And that is what is happening here. They are using identity politics. They are using wokeness. They are using this as a shield, as a mask. And we're not gonna fall for it. Sorry. You know, it. To go full Alex Jones for a second, I'm pretty sure like all of that Tumblr SJW sh from like 2013 to 2016 was a big CIA psyop. I'm saying it, we're all thinking it. All that culture war sh Cointel Pro, Operation Mockingbird type sh Think about it, if you wanted to kill any type of real leftist momentum in this country, what would you do? I don't know. Air conditioning is sexist. <laughs> Like, I'm pretty sure this woman was a federal agent. <laughs> Just think about it. I'm of course joking, but <laughs> left-wing activists out there, if uh, one of your new diverse members walks up to you like, Hello, fellow girl boss, are you ready to crush the patriarchy with me, a fellow cisgender? That's a fed. That is a whole ass federal agent. <laughs> that was just that quick video since a lot of you were asking for it. Ollie, what institution do you work for? The FBI? Oh, female bunny inspector? Okay, boomer. Ollie turned 10 yesterday. It was his birthday. 10 years old. Old man. Everybody say happy birthday. I will see you guys very soon with a new video. I will probably have brown hair. <laughs> and yeah. Bye. has gone woke. Oh no! Don't abolish the CIA! The military has gone woke. Oh no! Don't defund the military! The corporations have gone woke. Oh no! Don't break up the corporations! Capitalism has gone woke. Oh no! Anything but that! <laughs>